now <laughs> we will again begin with uh, uh, two countries beta one country i will call as the home country we assume home country is exporting cloth okay just assumption hai another will be my foreign country and we assume that this is exporting food okay and uh, in home country the price ratio of cloth and food is pc by pf right beta and in foreign country right uh, we can go ahead and we can have the price ratio measured by pc star by pf star theek okay. hai now what we can also go ahead and say assume is that both countries have same preferences and hence same relative demand curve both countries have same preferences and since they have the same preferences they have the same relative demand curve right now let's say that let's go ahead and let's assume that they have the same preferences and same relative demand curve and uh, supposedly uh, we have the supply in home country as qc by qf and that of the foreign country as qc star by qf star now we have assumed that home country is going to export cloth theek hai so since home country is going to export cloth we can assume that qc by qf is more than qc star by qf star theek hai we are just assuming that home country produces more cloth than the foreign country now i need to ask what is going to be the relative supply right so relative world supply Right. So for cloth, it will be supply by home country and foreign country, and for food, it is going to be supply by home country and foreign country. Right? Is this clear, Bata? Acha. Now, please try to understand that. Just take an example, huh? So if I tell you that I have a number, say four by two. Suppose this is four by two, and say this number is one by two. Four by two is greater than one by two. Now, if I add these, what will happen? I will get five by four. And clearly, so four by two is two. One by two is zero point five. So five by four lies between two and zero point five. so by construction you will notice that whenever we draw the relative supply that means this relative supply curve it will lie in between relative supply of the two countries right is this clear beta similarly relative demand
So when we talk about the relative demand curve, we can go ahead and say that we said that relative demand is the same. Preferences are the same. Do you understand? So suppose DC by DF, it is 4 by 2. Then DC star by DF is also 4 by 2. Isn't it because we said, we assumed that countries have same preferences and same relative demand. So if I add the total demand of cloth upon the total demand of food, 4 plus 4, 8 by 4. So it is coming exactly the same. So, because there is no difference in preferences, the relative demand curve for world, it will overlap with relative demand curve of each country. Right, beta? Is this clear? Now, how do we find the equilibrium? Where is the equilibrium? Equilibrium is where relative supply is equal to relative demand. So, suppose this is relative supply curve of home country. Relative supply curve of foreign country. So, world ka beech mein kahi hoga. We just proved. Okay, this is world. Relative demand home, foreign and world ka meet karta hai. It's the same. So this is relative demand of world, right? Wherever the two intersect, this is going to be equilibrium relative quantity. And this is going to be equilibrium relative price, right? So this is going to be my equilibrium. Hmm? Okay. Now, let us go ahead and let us try to understand something very important here. At the relative price, if I want to check what happens to the home country and foreign country separately. So, we can have two separate graphs. Home country. Foreign country. Right. In home country, we have already said that home country is going to export clothes. Right. So home country ke case mein. See, we have to be sure that we make exactly same ISO uh, value line. So, wo alag nahi ho sakta. so, if I make this ISO value line, then I have to make exactly same with same slope because they are facing the same price jo equilibrium price hai, right but what is happening is that here is the production of home country hmm? and consumption of home country is somewhere here So, home countries exporting clothes. Right? And for foreign country, here is the production of clothes. I will put a star here. And so, this is my difference curve. And this is my difference curve. And this is the consumption. So, foreign country is importing growth. And since there are just two countries, so QC minus DC, this gap, it must be equal to DC star minus QC star. What one is exporting, the other should import. Is this making sense? Similarly, similarly should be the case for food also. 
फूड में भी हमें मैच करना होगा सो दिस इज दिस इज द इम्पोर्ट ऑफ फूड इन होम कंट्री एंड दिस इज द सो दिस इज क्वांटिटी ऑफ फूड एंड दिस इज डिमांड ऑफ फूड सो दिस इज द एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ फूड इन फॉरेन कंट्री इंपोर्ट ऑफ फूड इन होम कंट्री सो अगेन दिस गैप हैज टू बी द सेम सो डी एफ माइनस क्यू एफ शुड बी इक्वल टू क्यू एफ स्टार माइनस डी एफ स्टार and my iso line slope has to be exactly the same because both of them face the same world price just that one is exporting cloth and one is importing cloth because their ppfs are different you see ultimately what is different is the slope of ppf how ppf is looking right so it is the ppf due to which you are getting different equilibrium one is exporting cloth and one is importing cloth right beta okay beta thank you